Let's see this problem asked in the CBSE examination year was 2001 and 2 continuously. So the problem is a very lengthy one. Let's read it carefully. It says dealer wants to buy or dealer wants number of fans and sewing machines. So there is a dealer who wants a number of certain number of fans and sewing machines. For machines, I have written this short form. Now he has rupees five seven six zero to invest only and space for at the most. 20 items. So there is a restriction, a constraint that he has only 5760 rupees, not more than that, and he has a space to accommodate only 20 items, not more than that. Fan cost him rupees 360 and swing machine cost rupees 240. So the fan costs him rupees 360, the swing machine cost him rupees 240. His expectations, now this wording his expectations is important to understand because that will tell the objective. So it will be the objective function. So his expectation is that he can sell a fan at a profit of rupees 22 and a sewing machine at a profit of what? At a profit of rupees 18. Assuming that he can sell all the items that he buys, very important. That means whatever he buys, he has the aim in his mind that he has to sell those. So that is also very important to know because this will give me one more condition. How should he invest his money to maximize profit? So this is a maximize profit kind of a problem. So definitely we have to make some equation and know. So I say let there be X fans that we are talking about and there be Y sewing machines. So now I know what will be my objective function. My Z is the objective function which I have to maximize and it should be what? It should be named from this equation. To sell a fan at a profit of rupees 22 and swing machine at 18. So 22x plus 18y. Now what are the conditions subject to certain conditions? What are these conditions like? The conditions are the first thing he has 5760 to invest. So maximum he has 5760 he can use less than equal to that. And what is the cost of each thing? 360 is the price for a fan and 240 it is for the swing machine. So that is your first equation that is L1. But this is tedious. If we have too many zeros, we will later simplify it. Next condition should be what? It should be from this line assuming that he can sell all what he buys. So all what he buys is clear from this equation that the space is of at most 20 items. So x plus y less than equal to 20 because at most there is the uh, space for 20 items. Also the number of fans and sewing machines can never be negative. So there are these simple conditions which are known as non-negative restrictions that have to be included. So now what is your scenario like? This is your L2 equation. So now we have this ready and now let's see what would be the intersection points and plot them. So I know that these are the given equations, one has been named as L1, the other has been named as L2 and in the process of making this I erase the previous thing which I had written, let me write it again. So this should be like 2x, uh, sorry 3x plus 2y less than equal to 48. So this is your L1, again I am writing here L1. Now as you can see this is your L1 and this is your L2, I have to plot. 16 on the x-axis for L1 because 3 16s is 48 and 24 on y-axis. So that will be the first line that I have to draw. The second line would be what? x has 20, y has 20. So this has your 20 and this has your 20. So now the process would be joining these points in order to get straight lines. Now as you have seen, I have joined the lines with the help of the points and now I have to see what are the intersection points. So this is the first intersection point that is coming into picture and I have to also know what conditions are being satisfied. If I put a known point 0, 0 here, so 0 plus 0, yes, is less than equal to 48, so that is your true. The other thing here also, if I put 0, 0, so 0 plus 0, 0 less than equal to 20 is also true, okay. So I have both the true conditions, so that means they have to be towards the origin. So towards the origin from all these things, what is the final region that I have to take into picture? That is this. 
so this time i have something which is enclosed so what are the points of intersection this can be named as a which is 0 comma 20 this is your b which i have to find out this is your c which is 16 comma 0 and this is your d which is origin that means 0 comma 0 so my task is to find out b b is obtained by the finding the points of intersection so the points of intersection 3x plus 2y is equal to 48 if i write over here and x plus y is equal to 20 and i also have to multiply by 2 for getting the intersection points so x is equal to 8 now when x is equal to 8 what is my y putting in any equation i get y is equal to 12 so this is the point which is 8 comma 12 now as you can see the required area is the shaded area this one and i have to find out what is the maximum out of these see the question was regarding maximize profit so i have to maximize so maximizing now maximizing gives me what maximizing takes place when i make a table and i find the solution so i know that putting the points what are the z values like so different different points i write z1 for a you have to put 0 comma 20 now what is your objective function here so 22 into 0 is 0 plus 18 into 20 is 360 what is your z2 z2 is when you put 8 comma 12 so you have to put 22 into 8 plus 18 into 12 that will be your answer similarly you have to find out z3 and similarly you have to find out z4 as we did in the previous question z4 directly is 0 comma 0 putting z3 directly is 16 comma 0 putting so 22 into 16 so that will give me an answer z2 also has to be found out out of that we have to see what is maximum and that will be our answer so as i know that this will give me on calculation 392 and this will give me 352 the calculation can be done on our own so what is my answer like the maximum value as you can see is this which is 392 now 392 is where 392 is because of this point 8 comma 12 so the answer is the maximum profit would be 392 obtained due to the coordinates 8 comma 12